On March 18, 2023, law enforcement officers were dispatched to a report of domestic battery. Dispatch relayed information that an emergency call had been initiated but was abruptly disconnected. Upon arrival at the scene, the officers discerned loud disturbances emanating from the residents. Reacting swiftly, they moved to intervene. Despite repeated attempts to de-escalate the situation, the woman involved persisted in erratic behavior, disregarding the officers' instructions and engaging in argumentative exchanges. The victim recounted that the female assailant attempted to physically strike him and left scratches on his face. In the tense atmosphere, the officers maintained composure, endeavoring to ensure the safety of all parties involved. Despite facing resistance, they diligently pursued their duty to uphold the law and protect the well-being of the community. With professionalism intact, they worked to defuse the escalating conflict and bring about a peaceful resolution to the volatile situation. He's wasted. That's He's no, no, no. He's crazy. Hey, stop. No, everyone stop. No. It's my house. Okay, come in here. I'm here. This is my house. Don't okay, come in my house. Okay, we are investigating something. Yeah, she... I don't know if that's your daughter or not. That Everyone needs daughter. to stop. Okay, that is my okay sit down, please. Okay. No, okay. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. That's my daughter. Grab yeah, her okay. right. Why do you sit down? Your daughter is fine. No, she's not. She is. Okay, sit. Sit. Go up there with her and talk with her. Go in the room. Go in the room right now. Go in the room. I don't know. What need to figure out what's going on. Okay, can I talk to you downstairs? Okay, can I talk to you downstairs? I need some water. So everyone's not screaming. Can you stay down there? She needs a... She needs to leave my okay. house right now. I'm not going to say it. Remove her okay. from my house right okay. now. We're, we need to figure out what's house. going on. Yeah, she said Okay, private. what's your name first? Kayla, get her out of my house. Kayla, what's going on tonight? She's not agreeing with me. Okay, about what? Is this your mom? No. Okay, who is she to you? Okay. Hey, no, no, Don't no. touch me. Ma'am, you're going to be putting handcuffs no, if you I don't won't. stop. This yes, my I'm telling you right now, if you put your hands on get, me one more time. I didn't touch okay. you. touch me. Don't I'm touch me. I'm telling you, stay away from me. No. Hey, bud, come with me. Go down to the Go down to the bed. Why are you here right now? Huh? I'm trying to my daughter. Don't touch me. No, I'm not. Hey, okay, 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 okay. I'm talking to you. Okay, don't. No, no, no. Okay, I'll listen. I don't want to be. I'll listen. I'll listen. I promise. I'll listen. No, please. I gave you one warning. No. I didn't touch you. You did. No, you took. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I promise. No. No, please, we're my daughter is right no. here. Put your hands behind your back or you're going to be charged with resisting. Okay. You are under Listen. arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Please, why are you doing this to me? Come on. I'll get him. Okay. Why would you guys do Come on. Talk to me Come outside. Come outside with me, Sarah. I'll talk to you outside. Okay? okay. Come on. I'll no, talk. you're under arrest right now. Okay, please don't arrest me. No. I don't care. You're under arrest. Can you listen to me for one second? Nope. I won't resist. I tried listening to okay, you. Okay, please listen. No, no, please, you're, please. no. I'm, I'm begging you. Can you say 83? Please listen, listen nope. to me for one second. I'm nope. begging you. Like Can you please. Nope. I'm not trying to resist anything. I promise you I'm not trying to resist. This is my home with my baby. I'm not trying to resist anything, okay? I promise. I'm not trying to resist. No, Wait. stop moving. Sorry, I'm not trying to. Please listen to me. I'm. I will listen to you. Okay. Do you are you under arrest right now. Stop okay, moving. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Do what you have to do. It's fine. Can you put pull my strap? The officers had a tough decision to make as things got crazier. They needed to arrest the woman. The situation was spinning out of control, making it hard to figure out what was going on. They felt responsible for bringing things back to normal and keeping everyone safe. Approaching the woman, they tried talking to her, explaining why they had to arrest her to stop any more trouble. But she wouldn't listen, staying stubborn. They gently put handcuffs on her and took her away from the chaos, hoping things would calm down. But even then, the woman didn't cooperate. It felt like a constant struggle against all the emotions flying around. As they moved forward, the officers stayed determined to sort things out, knowing that what they did next would make a big difference. Thank you. Can you look at me for one second? I will look at you in a okay. second. Turn around. Do you have any shoes inside? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Okay, well, hold tight. Okay. Stop moving. Wait, no, my, sorry, my mouth. I have hair in my okay, mouth. Okay, well, stop moving. 
Okay. You hold it real quick. Can yeah. you just look at me for one second? I'm not going to resist. I'm I will talk to you in a second. Just stop for right now. Well, just look at me. I promise I won't run away or do anything crazy. I'm not like that at you all. you have weapons on you? No, of course. Just look at me for one second. This is my home, okay? Okay. That's, can, that's, just look at me. Okay, no, I'm My kids it. are here. I'm not being violent. Okay. Please, I'm not trying to be aggressive. No, I'm, I, I, no I, I already told you. What? Tell me what? I'm upset, okay? I've been I heard you. I know. And I've been, you didn't listen, okay. and I told you, and I warned you. Listen to me for over one second. Over. Okay, can you just listen to me? I'm uh, comp compromising, sit. okay? Sit down. sit down. I don't need to sit down. I'm okay. I'm overstressed. I'm a, a mother okay. of three. I just had a newborn. I'm not trying to harm you. No, I understand. You know, I, I'm just I, I, like, I'm that's stressed. Fine. You need okay? to sit down right now. I just want okay. you guys to understand okay, what down. I'm going through. Sit not down. arrest me. Sit this. down. Sit down. Sit down. Take a seat. Help. Take a seat. Saying I'm not trying to be a, a, like, aggressive. Sorry, this is like, you're too high. I can't talk okay, to you. Fine. Just take a seat. Take a seat. So, but can, you, can, you, can you look at me for one second? A one on one, please. I'm not like an aggressive person. Pull your car up, please. Okay, I'm just letting you know right now, you are under arrest. So, if I was you, I would just stop talking right now. I'll under ask arrest you some for more what? questions. For what? For aggravated battery. Aggravated battery? Yep. What do you mean? Aggravated battery? What do you yep. mean? I didn't hurt anyone. What do you mean, aggravated a battery? I didn't hit you. What are you gonna Just stop to? talking. Look at okay? my child Just stop inside talking. my baby inside. That's fine. We're getting stuff figured out. I want okay. you to stop talking. I don't want to hurt anybody. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to hurt anybody. Can you grab this? Huh? On this side? Can you put this in front of me? Or no? My handcuffs or no? Yeah, your handcuffs right now. Just in case. Oh, wait. It's not, no, sorry. It's not working. We're going to get you inside the car here right now. Cool. Okay. All right. Come on here. Can I talk to them real quick? No. no. Nope. I have no shoes. Okay, we'll get you some shoes. Why am I getting arrested though? I didn't do anything wrong. Like, you got the back cameras on? Please, yeah, for a, a second. A no, while. no, 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 not in a little while. I want to talk to you now. After investigating the situation, the officers made the tough call to arrest the woman and charge her with aggravated battery. Subsequently, she was taken to the jail for further processing. However, during the transportation, Managing the situation became increasingly challenging for the officers. The woman continued to cause chaos, ignoring their commands and creating disturbances. As the officers attempted to place her in the patrol car, the woman expressed deep concerns about her newborn baby, refusing to leave the child with her baby's father. Despite their reassurances, her worries persisted, adding another layer of complexity to the already tense situation. Upon arrival at the police department, the woman's uncooperative behavior reached its peak as she defied the officer's commands. Even during the processing at the jail, her concerns for her newborn resurfaced, causing further disruptions. Despite their best efforts to maintain order and carry out their duties, the officers found themselves grappling with the challenge of balancing compassion. Talk to you guys. Sit down. Yes, it's fine. But I don't want to be arrested and like do this weird Sit stuff. Down. No, I'm, please, can I talk to him? No, sit down. Can I talk to you? Ma'am, I'm not to me. going to sit back I'm so I can put your my daughter. On. I have a newborn. Okay. Please, you see what I'm saying? Where I come from as a mother? Like, I'm nervous. To as be. of right now, okay. I'm going to sit right here. That's fine. I won't, like, resist that. I'm not going to resist that, okay? All right. Go ahead and put your feet in. Go ahead and put your feet in. Please, let me put talk Put your feet to in. You. Please, yes, in a second. Yes, in a second. I want to keep you warm. Put your feet in. I don't want to be warm. Okay, watch out. Hi, Kayla. Hi. It's Kayla, right? Yeah, it's okay. Kayla. Can you put my strap up, please? Yes. I don't like it. It's kind of... All good. Thank you. Sorry, my hands are cold. Yeah, okay. All right. You want to step out this way? I don't have shoes on, by the way. Oh, they... Okay. Yeah, my shoes are at home. All right. Can you pull my shirt down, please? Of course. Watch out. I don't like my skin. Okay. Okay. I'm going to walk up this way over here. Okay. Stand right here for me. I'll open the door. Walk on through. And then when we get inside, Kayla, you're going to go to the right. There should be two little shoe prints on the floor. If you could stand there for me, please. Uh, do you have anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, harm me? Oh, no. no. Okay. You want to just widen your stance a bit for me? Thank mm -hmm. you. Do you want to take off your uh, scrunchie? Or your. Um, uh, yeah, your clip? that's all I have for okay. my hair. That's fine. And then, sorry. Uh, and then watch. watch. Yeah, it's fine. 
Do you have any jewelry? Earrings? No. Are these able to come off or no? No. no. I can't take these off. Okay. No. Alright. You don't have anything like... You're wearing a bra, right? You don't have any... I have a, a bra, but no wire. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm. Just uh, stand right here for me real quick. Okay. All right. Can I? All right, take a seat, and then can I get you a, a blanket in the meantime? Well, yeah, I just have, like, a, a question to what I'm being, like, and I have children at home, so I'm, really, I'm upset because okay. I have a baby at home. Okay. I know you don't care. No, I mean, um, I'm, not, I'm not saying I don't, but, but I, I know you don't. I, I know how it works. I know how the whole system works. So, bang, something mm -hmm. bad happened between our families with his family and my family and I have a baby at home that right. I never left. He's he's home right now. I have a, no, I have my baby at home that I never left. So his parents my baby, but I never left her overnight once, so Okay. Just give me a couple minutes. I'll talk to him real quick just to get the whole Okay. Call someone? Yeah, we'll give you a phone call. Do you want me to get your blanket though? A blanket for what? Are you cold? I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not cold. Can I get some water? Yeah, I'll get you some water. Just okay, give me a couple minutes, okay? Okay. Alright. Here's the water cup. Quick question. Who will you be calling? Are you going to call someone at the house right now? Okay. Um, we still have officers there. They're trying to figure out the whole... You say nothing happened? No. It's It's all. It's okay. It's just like, I want to be with my baby. I'm sorry, I'm just like emotional with that because I've never been away from her. I'm not trying to be like, oh, like a prissy bitch and just like crying for no reason. What am I worried about? How's uh, the baby? Six months. Six months, okay. Cut them down, but when I get nervous, I, c I bite my nails. So if I don't have like my fake nails on, mm -hmm. I like kind of like. Okay. My Upon arrival at the jail, the female officer took the initiative to detain the woman in a closed, temporary jail cell. She intended to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the woman, hoping to calm her down and facilitate cooperation during the process. With the rest of the officers preparing for the next steps, the female officer began her attempt to establish rapport with the suspect. Starting gently, she asked the woman questions related to the incident that had transpired earlier in the day, aiming to gain a deeper understanding of the events leading up to their arrival at the scene. As the woman recounted her version of events, the female officer listened attentively, striving to gather valuable insights that could aid in the investigation. Did you um, spill something on you? Or was well, that I was, thrown yes, on you? Or? So I was at my cousin's birthday, Went to hibachi for dinner, mm -hmm. so we did like hibachi style in Barrington, and like no, oh, actually it was like Zerk borderline. So we had some wine, they had some hot sake. So I had some wine tonight with them, and then after dinner we went to my aunt's house. My mom was there, and we had wine there. We had we have like my family's big, so we had yeah. So I spilled some wine in my aunt in my aunt's house. Okay. Because I had, um, I still made little cousins. So the, every, all the cousins are like crazy. And like, so I had some wine and I spilled on myself. That's like always happening. That's, it's normal in my family. Um, so I was at my aunt's house for some wine. Um, at dinner they had me, I only had wine at dinner. I had one martini and some wine at dinner. This was like at 5 o'clock, 5.30ish. <laughs> They had some hot sake, but I don't drink hot sake because I don't like it. Um, but it was very low key. And we had some birthday cake, and then we went to uh, St. Patty's Day party afterwards. And we would just hang out with my cousin's uh, family. Uh -huh. They have a house in Barrington. They have a beautiful house. So we just hung out, and that's it. Okay. And I just want to be alone, you know, like, I'm not trying to cry, or like, because, yeah, I know I've been drinking a little bit, but, like, I'm not trying to be emotional, but at the same time, it's like, I always look like the bad person in this situation, and I'm not, though, like, <laughs> I have, like, kids that I'm, like, so good to, and that I'm always there for, you know, like, I'm a good mom. <laughs> Like, I'm embarrassed to call that. So I just said, like, hey, like, 
Can you come here and help me out? Okay, Kale, I'm on the way. Blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, cry about it. Like, yeah, I'm crying because I'm emotional because I just try to remove him from the house. That's why I called the spirits. Like, hey, like, get him out of the house. So I can just go to bed with my kids, you know? And so then I'm, I'm the bad person. This is my opinion because I'm so upset, you know? Because I have a reason to be. It just, it is what it is. I know how this whole thing works. I'm not stupid. Where did your fiance touch you or push you? Where? What do you mean? Do you have, because like, is this... Oh, this, this is a, from Tile. No, this is like a okay. scar from Tile. This is just nothing. Before we go into that, though, I'm just going to read you your Miranda rights, okay? What's that? Your Miranda rights? Okay. Can I get some water? Yeah, it's the, some water. The, huh? What? Some water coming back there. Where? Right there. Over the wall. Over the wall. Yeah. You can get water. It's right over there. Oh, okay. Because you said he was acting up. Yeah. So I don't want to speak further of anything. So for me, I'm. What I did is I did for myself. Okay. Big question, like, oh, so did he do this or did he do that? Like I'm here. I'm here for a reason. Well, I'm the cop, trying to get your side of the story, though. There's no side. The only reason why I'm here is because the cop that took me... Cops are dirty. I'm not saying you're dirty. I know how it, I know how it works. They... He didn't like what I said. I even like the bad person, of course. Like, oh, whatever. I get it. It's not, and he can sit there. Like, this is why I don't want to be here. Because people don't take this shit serious. I just see her look so bad to everybody. <laughs> All right, give me one second, Caleb. With the aim of obtaining a comprehensive understanding of the events that transpired, the officers escorted the woman to the interrogation room. This move was intended to facilitate a more thorough interrogation, enabling the officers to gather additional information that would support the filing of charges and the presentation of evidence in court. As the woman settled into the interrogation room, the officers prepared to delve deeper into her perspective of the events. With a mix of professionalism and determination, they initiated the interrogation, ready to listen attentively to the woman's account. Now, let's witness the unfolding interrogation between the woman and the officers, as she recounts her side of the story, shedding light on the events leading up to the incident. You look like my cousin's girlfriend. Me? Yes, you do. I was just with him tonight at the house in Barrington. You look a lot like her. I actually have a ring camera in front of my phone if you want to see it. Okay, everything took place inside, I'm assuming, right? Inside, outside, we were... Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so if... So there's... It's hearsay, he say type shit. So they're going to say that I assaulted a con. You want me to ask him to come down and talk to you? Yes, okay. I would want him... So the, again, my name's Officer Miller. Do I you, remember you. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to talk to him about what happened? But I want to say okay. I just want to know why. He just said, one question. Yes. Okay. I'll. I'm gonna ask a question. You answer. You okay. can ask me a yes, question. I'll fine. answer. Okay. I'm gonna ask my okay. question. Do you want to talk to this gentleman about what happened? That's fine. Okay. okay. Yes or no? That's fine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have questions for me? I do have questions okay. for What's you. What's your question? My question. is... Okay. I'm confused. Okay, you did. But you're a police officer, right? So you have an authority over me, mm -hmm. and you're going to sit here. It's not about that. But okay. it is about that. I know how the not. system works. Okay, no matter what, you'll have the opportunity to go to court. Okay. Yeah, but I'm sitting here being judged. No, you're not being but judged. You're judging I'm not me. judging you. I can't go home to my baby because of this. I'm not judging you. She's six That's months fine. old. But it's not fine. I mean, no, I'm it's saying funny, but it's I'm, not talking about the, I'm talking about what you were saying before that. Ma'am, if you want to talk to him about what happened tonight, I'm going to leave you in here. That's so fine, but what about my baby? Your you baby's being cared for. But what about me with my baby? That's my daughter. I understand. I've that. never it's been away from her this long. I, I, and I'm but it's not I'm okay. Sorry. But you're not sorry because you don't give a shit. That's well, the real I, I can understand how do that hurts really hard. How? Are you, do you have kids? No, I don't, but you I don't. can empathize. Can you? I can. So yeah. what are you going to do for me as a person, human to human? I'm going to do my job. Yeah, what's your job? My job is that you're under arrest, that we have some paperwork to do, and then you're going to have to go up to McHenry County Jail tonight. 
but you want to put me there? Like, I'm, I don't... That, that's where Can we are. Can you do something else to where no, I don't that's, go? No, that's where we are. Okay, yeah. you'll have your... Can you help me to well, where I don't go in that you situation? What you can do is you can give your rendition give. of the events of today. You can write them down there. What does that matter? What does that matter? You're putting Well, it's me... up to you. It's totally voluntary. You don't have to. Yeah, it's voluntary. You don't have to, okay. but... So, do you want to or no? Can I... Is there a way where I can bond out to go home with no, my kids? No, not tonight. You'll have to speak to a judge. Good morning. Mm, yeah. Okay, so where do I... Can I sleep here instead of going there? No, you have to go up there. This isn't like a holding area. This is just a temporary detention But I facility. don't... This is not... Like, I'm... Well, that's where we're at. So that's what's I, I get it. Tonight. Okay, so... And there, it's I'm not going to change. As the interrogation progressed, the woman's demeanor remained contentious, and she continued to argue with the officers. Despite their efforts to maintain a professional dialogue, her responses were combative and uncooperative. She disclosed that the altercation with the victim stemmed from an argument that had escalated into a physical confrontation. Throughout the interrogation, the woman's behavior exhibited defiance and hostility, making it challenging for the officers to extract relevant information. Despite their persistence, she repeatedly veered off course offering evasive and inappropriate responses. Amidst the interrogation, the woman repeatedly expressed concerns for her newborn baby, insisting that she needed to return home immediately to attend to her child's needs. Despite her pleas, the officers remained focused on unraveling the details of the incident. Despite the woman's disruptive behavior and distractions, the officers remained steadfast in their pursuit of the truth determined to see the interrogation through to its conclusion. The outcome of their investigation and the subsequent actions taken would unfold in due course. I'm but, talking but to what you. Can Why happen? is he walking away? I have to do some paperwork. So if you're going to talk to him about what happened tonight, that's fine. But I have I have some work to do, okay? I've got some paperwork. If you don't, if you don't want to talk to him about what happened... But I'm scared to go into a situation like that that I'm not used to. That's, that's just the self. Do you want a blanket? You can sit in there. With no, the you said you're changing me to another place. Yeah, and that's not for, that's for a little while. Okay? What do you mean a little, little while? we got a little paperwork to do. So the sooner that I can get this paperwork done, then I can inform you on everything that's going to happen. Okay, I will sit down to you, I will explain everything to you, but I have to do some things, okay, I have to do some paperwork, mm -hmm. I have to get some steps done, okay, if you help out and you're cooperative through this, I'm okay, yeah. out, which you are, you, you are, yeah. we'll get through this and I'll, I'll, explain, go home. I'll, I'll explain everything to you, okay. What, what, I, what you can do right now is if you want to, you don't have to, but you can write down uh, in your own words, what happened tonight, you know, with the argument okay. and everything. Yeah. Just so, so everything's documented with uh, your own words of everything that happened tonight, okay? And like I said, you don't have to. Yeah, I, I'm not going to. I just want to... Uh, you don't want, want to? Write your story. No, I, can I make a call home? You, do you want to call? Well, yes. who do you want to call? Uh, you can't call your baby. husband. Okay, well, well let your makeup up. I don't, that's my daughter. Don't I worry. know, but your daughter's sleeping. When uh, we left, she fell asleep on the couch. That's okay. okay. And I would talk to her. She was doing fine. She's, she's tired. Listen, it's, it's do you like, understand what I'm feeling? I, I don't think you understand. I have a, a six month old that I've never been away this long. Okay. Well, so this is like a very but big it's, thing it's for me. Also, one o'clock in the morning, okay? One. But I'm nervous. You know what I'm saying? It's two o'clock in the morning. Okay? But I'm scared and I'm nervous. We gotta get some stuff done. Let's go, let's go sit back yeah, in let's here. Go back okay, let's go sit back in here. We'll get you a blanket and then. We'll, we'll go from there. No, living room, living room. Sorry, the yeah, I was, yeah, I was, and no, he, she was in the living room with the baby. He was by the stairs. He was down the stairs. And oh, okay. I was way back, away from them. I was like, oh my God. She, and then out of nowhere, after she, he told her to stop, she started screaming at the top of her lungs, acting like she was being killed. And I was like, oh my God. Like, that's insane. Was she on the phone? With that already? She was at one point. After that, she wasn't. She was, was like, that what she was screaming though? Yeah, she was making a scene. Is that what she was calling that name? On the phone with them or after the phone with them? I couldn't tell. Okay. Um, because she had her phone at one point when she was talking. She was talking, but I couldn't hear it, so I was like, ignoring it. Right. And he was ignoring it a little bit, and I was like, oh, what's she yeah. doing? But yeah. It, that's... So what, what happened after she started to stop screaming? <laughs> Um, the cops showed up right away. Okay, so it was almost immediate. Yeah. And then the cop came upstairs. He said that I touched him. Never did. It was so much commotion that was happening. Because he was yelling, he was yelling, she was yelling. And then it was at one point. 
I had the baby at one point, and then she was laying down, and then she woke up within that time. But I can't remember exactly. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like, she wasn't reacting with, towards me with the baby in her hands. That's okay. what I remember, yeah. Well, let me see if I understand. It's a lot. It is a lot. It's, so, a, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> let me see if, I, see if, I, if everything's correct, right? Like I said, your daughter is nine years old, and she's sleeping right now. It's almost three o'clock in the okay. morning. Okay. You'll have opportunities to make a phone call to her tomorrow morning. Okay. okay. Tomorrow when it's a more appropriate time than three o'clock in the morning. Let your daughter sleep. She, when I showed up, it was very, very hot. I understand that, but okay. you don't know my daughter. You don't know my relationship right, with her. Right, but she was passed out cold when I left. She was passed out cold. I mean, she was like curled up in a ball on the couch. Yeah, because she's upset. And everyone was still yelling around her. Not a, she wasn't moving a muscle. I highly doubt that because I know wasn't. how she. I know how my daughter is. She's right. upset. So I'm right outside there. I don't. Okay. So if you need anything else, okay, just let me know. All right. You're doing good. Okay. Um, this. I'm gonna keep you in the loop of everything. What's going on? Okay. I'm not keeping you. In, I haven't. Right? I haven't kept you in the dark on anything. Okay. So we just got a little bit more paperwork to finish up. That's okay. Okay. And then um, we'll, this officer right here, will just he's just going to take you up to McHenry County Jail. Okay. So when they bring me there, like, am I going to, like, be regular people? I'm not sure. It, they have their own protocols of who they, you know, if they put you in your own cell or something like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Can you know, you especially like, with COVID stuff going on, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not sure how they do, can do that. Can you, uh, make a call to him to let him know if things okay? Is yeah. That, can you do that? Yeah, the other um, officer, the other officer actually went out and, and spoke with him and said that you were okay. Did you call them? Did you call yeah. them? Yeah. yeah. So, for tomorrow, will they go there tomorrow morning? Or how's that work? No, you'll you'll see a judge tomorrow morning, and then you'll have to bond out, and then the judge is going to set terms for your release. Okay, so today is... Today is set, today, yeah. So it'll be this morning, then? Should be, yeah. So they can't go there this morning? I'm, no. I'm no. Do you have shoes? Or no shoes? No, no shoes. Oh, okay. So I, uh, we do have to go back to the Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. I just didn't. <laughs> You're just fine. Can you just turn around for me, yeah. please? Yeah. Thank you. I won't work too tight, okay? You can just loosen up a bit. Alright, going back. Okay. Yeah. Is, there, is somebody in there? Huh? Is anybody in there? No. I can see her. Uh, we have to put her back in. No, just hook her to the bench. Yeah. Alright. So, so can, you, can you stand up for me? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, step in, please. In the end, the woman was transported to the McHenry County Jail. Later, she was presented in court and found guilty of domestic battery and aggravated battery on a peace officer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.